This video is all about how I achieved maximum FPS in Fortnite by tweaking the best game user settings. After tweaking these settings, I saw a huge difference in my FPS. If your PC is struggling with lag, stuttering, or FPS drops, this guide will help you get smoother gameplay. Watch until the end, and don't forget to subscribe. So guys, before we jump into optimizing Fortnite game user settings, it's a good idea to clear out any clutter on your PC. This helps your system run smoother and reduces lag or stutters while gaming. Start by opening the search bar and typing disk cleanup then launch the app. When prompted, select your C drive, this is usually your main system drive, and hit OK to start the initial scan. Once that's done, click on cleanup system files in the bottom left corner. Select the C drive again, and Windows will perform a deeper scan to target system level clutter. When the list of files appears, check the boxes for temporary files, delivery optimization files, Windows Update Cleanup, DirectX Shader Cache. After selecting these, click OK, and then confirm by pressing Delete Files. Windows will take care of cleaning out these unnecessary files, freeing up storage and reducing background clutter. This step is especially important if your drive is almost full, because low disk space can directly affect load times and cause stutters while playing Fortnite. Clearing it out first ensures your system is ready for the best possible performance. Alright guys, now it's time to optimize our Fortnite game user settings for maximum FPS. Press Windows plus R to open the run dialog, type percent local app data percent, and hit enter. This will take you to the folder where all your local app data is stored. From there, press F or scroll down to locate Fortnite game, then follow this path, save, config, Windows client. Inside this folder, you'll see a file called gameusersettings.ini. Right-click it, choose Properties, and make sure the read-only box is unchecked. If it's ticked, just uncheck it, click Apply, then OK. This is important because we need to be able to edit the file. Now, we're ready to tweak things. Open the file, and let's start. First, turn off Motion Blur. It might look cool, but it just makes things blurry and uses extra GPU power. Disabling it makes the game sharper and more responsive. Next, disable grass. While it looks nice, it's not necessary and consumes GPU resources. Turning it off can give you a noticeable FPS boost, especially in open areas. Switch anti-aliasing off too. This smooths edges, but at the cost of performance, you'll get higher FPS and honestly, the visuals still look fine. Turn off Nanite. It's a high-end feature, and most mid-range or lower-end PCs don't need it. Disabling it frees up resources. Ray tracing should also be disabled. It's beautiful but extremely demanding. Turning it off alone can make a big difference in FPS and reduce stuttering. Check all energy saving modes and make sure they're set to false. You don't want Fortnite limiting its performance to save power, especially not in competitive play. Leave display gamma at the default value. Messing with gamma can cause FPS drops and make things look off. Disable D, LSS frame generation and XESS. These features can add input delay, so turning them off keeps your game more responsive. Also, turn off dynamic resolution. It changes your resolution on the fly to maintain FPS, but this can make visuals inconsistent. Disabling it keeps things steady. Turn off VSync. While it stops screen tearing, it also adds input lag, which is not ideal for fast-paced gameplay. Set resolution scale to 100%. You might get more FPS if you lower it, but this keeps your game sharp while still running smoothly. Now for graphics quality. 
Find a balance that keeps FPS high, but visuals decent. View. Distance can be medium or high, depending on preference. Turn off shadows, set global illumination and reflections to low, disable post-processing, lower textures, turn off effects, and disable foliage. Set shading to medium to keep things looking good without killing performance. Set your frame rate limit to 240 frames per second. This prevents your GPU from overworking and keeps your gameplay smooth, especially on high refresh rate monitors. Enable low input latency mode. This makes your controls feel snappier and more responsive. Use DirectX 11 as your preferred RHI, it's more stable than DX12 and usually gives better FPS. Finally, disable rendering in background so Fortnite stays responsive even if you alt-tab, and turn off extra latency tweaks that could add unnecessary processing. Once everything is set, go ahead and save the file. To make sure Fortnite doesn't overwrite your settings, right-click the file, go to Properties, and tick Read Only. Apply the changes, click OK, and you're done. Remember, with Read Only on, you won't be able to adjust settings in-game until you uncheck it. With all these tweaks, your Fortnite will run smoother, faster, and more responsive, giving you the best FPS possible without sacrificing too much visual quality. And that's it for today's Fortnite FPS Boost Guide. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more tips. Peace out.